Have you tried everything to win over that special woman but nothing seems to work? Maybe you're making some of the most common and devastating mistakes that turn women away without even realizing it. In this video, you will learn the fatal mistakes many men make when trying to attract women and how you can avoid them to finally succeed in your love life. I'll show you why these strategies don't work and what you should do to create genuine and lasting connections. Stay with me until the end and discover how to transform your approaches and become irresistibly authentic. Get ready to change your seduction game forever. Hello, I am Peter, a specialist in romantic relationships, and I understand that when you're trying to impress someone special, it's natural to want to show your best side. However, it's crucial to avoid certain pitfalls that can lead to disastrous results. Imagine this. You're meeting someone new and want to make a good impression. You might think that flaunting your material possessions like a nice car, a watch, or branded clothes could be a good strategy. You might feel that being a bit dishonest or playing some mind games will increase your charm without major consequences. Or maybe you believe that being overly persistent and coming on strong is the correct approach. Well, I'm here to tell you that all these tactics might end up hindering you more than helping. Genuine relationships are built on honesty and authenticity. When you pretend to be someone you're not or try to rush things, you risk undermining the foundation of a healthy and lasting relationship. So, let's dive into these common mistakes and understand why they generally don't work. I'll share some valuable tips to help you avoid these errors and build relationships with higher chances of success. 1. Using Backhanded Compliments Backhanded compliments are a manipulative tactic used by some men to attract women by undermining their confidence. It involves giving ambiguous compliments or subtle insults disguised as praise with the goal of making the woman seek validation from the man using them. For example, a man might say, you look good for someone who usually dresses very casually, implying that her appearance is generally unattractive. Another example is saying, you're very intelligent for a woman, which suggests that women, in general, are not intelligent. These comments are made to create doubt and insecurity in the woman's mind, making her feel the need to prove herself to the man. This manipulative behavior can have serious negative effects on the woman's self-esteem, leading to a toxic relationship dynamic where she constantly seeks the man's approval. Giving backhanded compliments is wrong because it exploits the woman's insecurities and creates a power imbalance in the relationship. Instead of fostering a genuine connection, it builds the relationship on a foundation of manipulation and control. In the long run, this can negatively affect the woman's confidence, which also negatively impacts the relationship. 2. Flaunting material possessions or signs of wealth. I see many men doing this when trying to impress a woman, using material possessions or flaunting signs of wealth. Showing off that expensive car, talking about how much you earn, or flaunting your latest gadgets. But this usually only works with the type of woman you probably aren't interested in. If you're only interested in seducing a woman for a good time and not looking for a long-term commitment, it's fine it might work to attract beautiful women looking for a romantic adventure. But think about this. If you use your possessions to attract someone, you'll attract women interested in what you have, not in who you are. This leads to superficial connections where true compatibility is neglected. If you attract a woman by constantly talking about money or flaunting your expensive belongings, don't be surprised if she's only interested in what you can buy for her. It might seem cool at first, but if you want to find a stable relationship, it's not a very good tactic. Over time, you'll realize that the relationship is empty and lacks authenticity. Moreover, maintaining this facade can be financially unsustainable. Maintaining a relationship based on material goods is not something you can sustain in the long term unless you have a lot of money and your goal is just to have a partner for fun. You probably won't feel good in a situation where you're constantly pressured to spend more and more money just to keep her interest. It's much better to try to seduce a woman by showing who you really are. Build connections based on shared values, common interests, and compatible personalities. 
This creates a much more solid and genuine foundation for a long-term genuine relationship. When you present yourself genuinely, you attract people who like you for who you are, not for what you have. 3. Using dishonest tactics and playing mind games. If you need to lie or deceive a woman to make her like you, that's a big sign that you have low self-esteem or don't have enough value as a man to seduce a woman. Healthy relationships are based on clear communication, honesty, and authenticity. When you use dishonest tactics or play mind games, you are deceiving the woman and yourself at the same time. Sure, these games might work for a while, but they are unsustainable in the long run. It might seem to be working in the short term, but the long-term consequences are usually quite bad. Moreover, these games often result in relationships filled with distrust and resentment. And let's be honest, you won't want to live in a relationship like that. If you spend more time thinking about how to manipulate the other person than building a true connection, you're on the wrong path. Instead, try to be honest and authentic from the start. Show who you really are, with all your qualities and flaws. That way, you attract someone who genuinely likes you for who you are, not for a character you're playing. Believe me, being true to yourself and others is the best way to build lasting and meaningful relationships. It may be harder, but when you manage to win over a woman, it will be someone who truly wants you, not an unstable relationship that won't last long. 4. Pretending to be someone you're not. If you're trying to impress a woman, the worst thing you can do is pretend to like something you don't or present yourself in a way that isn't true. It might work at first, but the truth always comes out, and then everything falls apart. If you start a relationship pretending to be someone else, you're creating false expectations in the woman. This prevents a genuine connection and mutual understanding. The woman will be interested in who you pretend to be, not who you really are. If you're looking for a stable relationship, it won't work. You'll eventually fall for that woman, but she'll fall for who you pretend to be. How long do you think you can maintain that fictional character? What do you think will happen when the woman you like discovers the truth? The best thing you can do is be yourself. Show who you really are, your interests, values, and personality. Obviously, you can and should emphasize your best attributes, but without hiding the others or lying. This not only attracts the right person but also spares many headaches in the future. Authenticity is attractive, and someone who likes you for who you really are is worth much more than someone who likes a false version of you. Being someone else in your daily life is not sustainable. You'll end up tired of maintaining that facade, leading to frustration and the feeling of living a lie. Okay. I know. You think that if you use some lies about yourself to win over a woman more easily, after she's in love, you can stop lying and she'll continue to like you. There's just one problem. The woman didn't fall in love with you. She fell in love with the person you pretended to be. So she won't continue to like you because she never really liked you. She liked the other man you pretended to be and who now has disappeared. Just like she probably will disappear too. And even if she doesn't leave, she will never trust you again. Is a relationship based on constant distrust what you really want to build? Think about it before pretending to be someone you're not. 5. Being overly persistent. I know that when you like a woman, the temptation to chase her and try to speed things up is strong. But being overly persistent can end up driving the person away instead of attracting her. If you're always on top of her, texting her all the time, or trying to force things to move faster, it can make her feel pressured or even harassed. There is a big difference between seducing someone in a healthy way and stalking them. Healthy seduction means showing interest and making it clear that you like the person without suffocating them. Stalking means being too insistent, not giving the person space to breathe, moreover, rushing things can have the opposite effect. When you try to push a relationship forward too quickly, you create unnecessary pressure and end up ruining everything. This can make the other person feel uncomfortable, intimidated, and even uninterested. 
It's important to let things flow naturally and give space for the other person to also feel like being with you. Trying to rush things will only make you seem desperate, insecure, and low on self-esteem. That's not attractive at all. No matter how much you want to seduce that woman, don't use this tactic. The more you pressure her, the more likely she is to pull away, giving you no opportunity at all. 6. Flooding her with gifts and compliments. Giving a gift occasionally or making a sincere compliment is nice, but doing it excessively can have the opposite effect. She might think you're trying to buy her love or that you're hiding something under all that generosity. When you flood a woman with gifts and compliments all the time, it can make you seem desperate or needy, which will turn her off instead of attracting her. It's likely that the woman will start to feel suffocated or suspect your true intentions. When you put the woman on a pedestal, you create an unequal dynamic. It seems like you're trying hard to gain her approval because you feel inferior. This will make you lose respect for yourself and also make her lose respect for you. Show your value sincerely, such as spending quality time together, listening attentively, and supporting her dreams. Using superficial tactics to attract someone leads to relationships based on lies and superficiality. Forcing situations or flooding a woman with gifts and compliments doesn't show value. It reveals insecurity. The key is authenticity. When you're genuine, you attract people who connect with who you really are. Think about it. If you like my videos and would like to help me continue creating more amazing content, consider making a donation of just $1 a month. Find more information in the video description. Any contribution is valuable.